In today's show, we give an update on the United States' first ever fully legal online gambling and poker website, a controversial gaming tax bill in Ireland, Lotto News and more. Hi, Natalie Rydstrom here with today's SBRI Gaming News Update, reporting for sportsbookreview.com. The first ever fully legal online gambling and poker site in the United States has now completed its 30-day trial in Nevada. Ultimate Gaming has now received the recommendation of the Nevada Gaming Control Board to be fully approved by the Nevada Gaming Commission. The online gaming market is in its infancy at the moment in the United States, but many states have got iGaming on their radar to raise revenue. New Jersey has also legalized online gambling and is expected to have its games up and running near the end of the year. In other parts of the world, Ireland legislators are debating legislation that would have online bookmakers who accept Irish business pay a 1% levy on turnover. The legislation, the Betting Amendment Bill, was first introduced to the Cabinet on July 9th. It is speculated that up to 17 million euros could be brought in should this measure be approved. But there are many things that have to happen first. If it gets approved by the Cabinet, Cabinet, it would then be published, then it would need further approval by the relevant Department of the European Union Commission, and finally go to a vote by the Irish Parliament. All things considered, it could be more than a year before the process runs its course. Australian lotto firm Jumbo Interactive Limited has been licensed to sell its games over the internet and mobile platforms in each of the Germany's 16 states. The games include the famous Euro Jackpot, Kino Plus 5 and are expected to be marketed to nearly 17 million eligible players. Jumbo is also working to finish deals with the slate lotteries, though it has already come to terms in Berlin and Schleswig-Holstein. And finally, geolocation tech company Geocompliant Limited signed its first major deal since the ink dried on their Class 2 Nevada gaming license. Geocomply will provide online gaming operator Bwin Dot Party Digital Entertainment with support for desktop and mobile applications across the US. Geocomply also intends to pursue licensure in New Jersey, which, as we mentioned earlier, recently legalized online gambling. Speaking of the news was Geocomply CEO Anna Sainsbury. We are thrilled to have won this tender and to now be working with Bwin Dot Party in such an exciting new market. As a specialist company focused on the iGaming space, we are very much looking forward to assisting Bwin Dot Party in delivering to the gold standard of iGaming compliance in geolocation technologies. That's all from me today. Do be sure to tune in for Tuesday's instalment of SVR Industry News. I've been your host, Natalie Rydstrom, reporting for sportsbookreview.com. Stay tuned and up to date with the sports betting world by checking out our SBR News playlists, clicking on the videos on the screen and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the news as and when it happens.